I would like to welcome you to Munich. It manages to attract over 6 million people. What for? For the Oktoberfest every year. But we are not here to talk about all of that. We are here to meet an incredible, powerful woman, and that is Idi Otiende Lawani. Idi Lawani. She is in her early 30s and runs a law firm here in Germany. Studying law was not what brought Edith to Germany. She came for an au pair program just after she had finished high school. I had to learn the language after the au pair. Uh -huh. Of course, I had the evening courses, but then I couldn't take so many of them because mm. of time, one thing. And number two, it's your money. Yeah. So it's the uh, the money that you're earning. Yeah. And how, if you don't mind, two hundred and sixty. That's euros. what you would get yeah. per month. Yeah. And how much would you pay for your German classes? Uh, it depends. Some of them are like one hundred and forty. Some are eighty. Per month. Not per month, mm. but uh, six weeks. Most of ah, the courses okay. go for six to eight weeks. It's the will to survive. Yeah. The will to survive. Yeah. I never felt it. It's it sounds crazy mm. when I talk about it. But for me, it was, you know, something you take so obvious. It belongs to it. Germans say, Mittel zum Zweck. It's just um, a step over to what you want to achieve. Edith's dream of becoming a lawyer came true, and she never forgot her motivation to help people. It was not long after that she started the organization, giving Africa a new face, Gan. It's, it's good to be here, but um, it's more better to find a way of giving back, giving back to our community, mm. but also contributing to the society here. We wanted to um, change the image that was then being portrayed uh, in the social media, um, in the TVs, uh, uh, in these uh, public adverts concerning Africa, of all the negativity that is involved. And we thought of a way of um, bridging this, this gap, both for the Africans to have this understanding of uh, Europe, to say, okay, they're not just the givers, but rather we can work on mutual basis with mm. each other. And also for the Germans to say, okay, we don't want to, un we, they shouldn't understand Africa anymore in this one-sided context of what can we do to them. As we were sharing with Edith, there are a few things that stood out for me, but the most important thing, and the thing that I am taking home with me is about the attitudes that we have as Africans about ourselves. What do you guys think? I would love to know your thoughts in the comment section below, so please leave that comment. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>